Hi, welcome to an AutoCAD 2023 video tutorial. Today I want to create a dynamic block with four layers, four different hedges, with grips, so you can adjust those thicknesses of those layers. The thickness will be displayed here on the side and we also got a table which allows you to switch all thicknesses at once. So, let's have fun with AutoCAD! Ok, I've already prepared some layers. One for the contour, one for the dimensions, one for the edges, and one which are called invisible in order to hide certain objects. Now I want to create an empty block, so let's go for create block. I want to call this one for layer for layer section view. Pick point should be zero zero. And I don't want to select objects. Should not be annotative and this option should be enabled. Block units are millimeters. So if I want to go for OK, I will get a warning. No object selected. And I will continue. Now I'm in the block editor. I will need four rectangles and four hedges. And I want to use those parameters here. Maybe activate that Info constraints and let's start with a rectangle which starts at zero zero and is maybe 100 in x direction and minus 50 in y direction. Let's add a hatch. And maybe let's go for the concrete, this one for example. Let's take a look. So it's almost not visible. So I will need to scale it down. Let's go for 0 0.1. That's better. And this should be on a certain layer and I can here activate the hatch layer which will put it on this layer and make sure it's associative like that and close that hatch creation maybe hide those constraints. Now I will need four of those rectangles with a hatch. So let's copy these two and go for that copy command here like that and let's put it maybe like the, that here and it also copied those constraints, which is nice. Let's hide those constraints as well. Now I will need dimensions, but maybe first I could, of course, go into the block test. So go for test block, and you see it's just a block. Close that test block. And now, see, those dimensions changed the color. They went from yellow to blue. And I need blue dimensions, because only blue dimensions give me grips. The yellow ones don't give me grips. That's sort of strange, and I don't know why, but it is like it is. So let's go for linear constraint 
and make a dimension from here to this point up there like that and this could have a name maybe like uh, width okay and I've got a grip and I need another one and I could put it right here or over here so let's put it right here in the middle so the grip will be in the middle use that middle point and that midpoint and make that dimension and maybe move it over here and this should be called maybe layer 1 Now let's test this one, so go for test block and see if there are two grips. Sorry, select it and you've got one here and you've got one there and they both work. So let's close that test block and save it. I know it's not fully constrained, but I want to save it. Hide those constraints. Now I want to align those rectangles with constraints. Therefore I could hide those hatches. So select one, go for select similar and go for isolate and hide those objects. Let's go for an auto constraint like that which should give me the alignment of those lines here. Hide those and now add dimensions for those four layers. So go for linear from the mid point to the midpoint like this. Call this one layer two. another one like that call this one layer 3 and the last one and this should be called layer 4 Now I want to align those here, so let's go for a collinear constraint. Select this one, then that one. Repeat this one here to that one. Repeat this one to that one. Hide all those constraints. And test it. So go for test block select it and yeah this works select this one yeah that does work this one works this one and that one great close the test block and save it now let's change those hatches maybe this one to a different one maybe let's go for go for brick for example it doesn't really matter and maybe again let's scale this to one change this one also maybe to sand or clay let's go for clay Maybe like that, and select the last one, and maybe change this one for gravel. 
There should be gravel somewhere. There you go. Go for one. Uh, that's okay. And confirm the hatch. Again, hide those and just check it again in the test block just to make sure it still works. So nothing went wrong. Looks good. Okay works quite nice close the test block and save it once more in order to show the thickness of those layers here on the left side i need a new dimension style so let's go for annotate go for dimension go for the dimension style manager I want to make a new one based on this one, so let's go for new and call this uh, section style. Section style. Okay. And so what to change? I want to hide those dimension lines. Both of them. And the text should be horizontal aligned, so let's go for horizontal. And the text color should be from a layer. So I want to switch this to layer. And the height might be 4 or 5. Let's go for 5. And confirm. And close this one. Now let's make the dimension layer the layer for the dimensions, like this. And if I do right now a dimension maybe a linear dimension and i want to have it from this point to that point like that repeat from this point here hopefully that's the right one so let's go over here to that one here let's try to snap here repeat I want to use that endpoint and of course that endpoint so go for control right click go for the endpoint like that gives me another 50 here and another one from endpoint to endpoint like that I want to make sure that I dimension that endpoint here, not a different one. So let's test this one out. Go for block editor, go for test block and see if it works. Select it and that's okay. That one is okay. The third one and the last one. Great. Close the test block and again save it and hide all those constraints so if you need units displayed on the right side of those dimensions you have to edit that dimension style once more so let's go for annotate go for dimensions select this one go for modify and you just have to add a suffix if you want meter meters or if you want millimeter just add w not w but mm let's confirm this one close that one and you got this mm and in order to have a space in between you have to add a space before those two m's here so let's go here add space and it will look like this so if you want to display that length as well just add another annotative dimension so go for linear one from this end point here to that end point over here like this now let's go back to our block editor 
and I want to add a block table. That's the last step. So let's go for block table. And I want to put it over here because it can be enlarged in this way. So let's put it over here. And let's go for one grip. That's OK. And enter. Now, there's one small problem. You will only see the first parameter of the tables. You will see only the first column. So I need a column which shows all the dimensions. Therefore, I want to make a new parameter, which should be this one. And I will call this dimensions. Yeah. Dimensions. And it should be a string parameter. And it should be displayed in the property palette. Now I can add more parameters from the already existing ones. And I want to add all of those. So let's select them all and add them. And now I can fill this table with values. And I can also uh, limit those values here to the table. So let's go first for a 100 slash 50 slash 50 slash 50 slash 50, which would be 100 in width. And all those less would be 50, 50, 50, and 50. Let's add another one, maybe 200 slash 60 slash 70 slash 50 slash 40. That would be 200, 60, 70, 50, and 40. And you can add, of course, more. So if restricted, if you restrict it to those values, you can switch only between those. If you leave that option not enabled, then you could adjust them like you want on the go. So let's go for OK and test this one. So let's go for the log editor test block and if we select the block we've got a table and you can switch from this combination to that combination and you still can adjust those layers individual individually like that and go back to one of those table entries Close the test block and save the block and then close the block editor. Save the changes and now you can insert that block whenever you want like that and you can use it in the way you want it to use. So hope you enjoyed this one. If you liked it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. This will really help in... Nope. Let's see if it works. Select it. We've got those grips in order to change them one by one. And we can switch to those combinations with the table. So it works really well. Close the text block. Save it. It's not fully constrained. If you want it to fully constrained, just add that locket at that point over here, and it will be fully constrained like that. Hide those constraints 
and close the block editor. Now you can insert it whenever you need it and just select it. You have the table, you have the grips. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.